how do you get a PDF indexed by Google? Um, the same way you get anything else indexed, um, Dr. Brian. You do, you can submit it directly to Google. If it's make sure first of all it's a like a public PDF, right? The, the the thing is is if you've uploaded a PDF, let's say to Google Drive for example, or to uh, Amazon or Dropbox or something like that, unless it's a public link, which you set that as a you know the share URL to make it public for anybody to view and index and make it indexable, that kind of stuff. You need to make sure that setting is set correctly, number one. But then you, all you need to do is go submit the URL directly to Google. You can also tweet the URL if you want, if you've got a, a, an active Twitter account, because uh, you it's crazy, but especially with, and Dr. Gary proved this in, um, or showed this, which is pretty cool, in uh, the RYS Academy, but if you tweet, you know, okay, for example, I can, um, let's see if I can pull something up, I don't know what I have here, that, no, I don't have a doc open, but if you take a Google Doc, guys, you know how when you're looking at a Google Doc, you can see in the top right corner, um, avatars of other people that are viewing it and if if it's set for like uh, anybody that has the link or public you'll see uh, generic avatars and it'll say like anonymous monkey and anonymous ferret and things like that right but you'll see all those little avatars in the right and that's people or bots that are viewing your document and so you can actually take um, a, a Google Doc URL and tweet it out if it's set to public and and you'll see all the Twitter bots come within a matter of seconds sometimes and you'll see that the top right corner of the doc just light up like a Christmas tree with all these avatars and so that means the bots are coming to crawl your doc right so the same thing you can do that you can index it by submitting directly to Google or you could do something like tweet it out or just build some links to it and that will eventually get it indexed provided that it's set to public yeah. Yeah. It's just to add to what you were saying, Bradley, you can even upload it to your own WordPress. And, uh, you know, if your uploads or you, you can host it somewhere that is public again, you know, on the root, for example, of your server. And as long as it's accessible by Google, it will, uh, it will crawl the entire doc because the PDF uh, can have live links that Google can actually follow. You know, it can crawl the text within the PDF. So that's that. Another option that I've had great success with was uploading to PDF websites, like PDF hosting yes. websites, like yeah. Scribd, um, SlideShare. You know, if you have a slide deck, you can turn that into a PDF. Um, DocStock is another one. But if you upload to Scribd, a PDF, you, you will get a ton of views and a ton of hits from Scribd and you have a high chance of ranking it as well, which is the main point, you know? Yep, document sharing sites, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. yep. Also, just uh, Dr. Brian, just so you know, when I said submit directly to Google, just go to Google and search for submit URL, right? Submit URL or submit URL to Google and it's gonna be the first link that shows up, okay? So guys, when in doubt, go to Google. <laughs> So, and you can you can literally submit the single URL directly through Google, Google Search Console, and you're telling Google to directly come crawl this URL, please, and index it. Okay. Problem solved. And and just as as an just to add on to that, if you spam that that URL submitter, you you get your IP sandboxed. Yeah, that's true. Don't spam it. So.